Hey everybody, it's Chainsaw Reacts back once again with another reaction for you guys. Hey guys, of course, we're here checking out the newest episode of Superman and Lois. This is Superman and Lois Season 2, Episode 8, Into Oblivion. Cool title, interesting title. We had a week break once again, and I hate these breaks. I really, really do. But the last episode ended in such a way that I understood why they took a break. I think there was probably other reasons besides the ending of the episode. But the fact that Anderson went completely bonkers, he took a lot of X Kryptonite, killed Bizarro, Talbro almost died in the process of actually sacrificing himself, basically, for Superman when uh, Anderson showed up, of course, at Talbro's Fortress of Solitude, firing kryptonite bolts and all that kind of stuff. The most shocking thing, I think, are these two things. One, Bizarro actually was killed unless Superman is lying, which that's a theory. He's actually lying about that. We'll see if that's the case, but he might not be lying, but... I mean, there has to be stakes within the show, so he might actually be dead. But it was a pretty intense fight between uh, between Bizarro and Anderson, but I hope he's not dead. I really hope he's not dead. And the second thing is that Anderson, after being told all the stuff about the pendant, how dangerous it is, all that kind of stuff that Bizarro, of course, brought to their world, Earth Prime and everything, and saying, Ali Alice, like, don't, like, she's, she's the evil one here. She's the person that we're going after all that kind of stuff, and he brings her the freaking pendant. He brings it to her like a dumbass, and he's like, what is this for? She's like, it, it's, it's the change we needed or something, and, oh, God. So this is bad. Really, really bad. Anderson's on the run, and he, he just went completely nuts and crazy with power and everything, and then went over the top, of course. So, yeah. I've been saying that Anderson pretty much is the villain of the season, even though they're setting up Ali as the actual villain. I, I've been saying Anderson's the actual villain, just because of how crazy he's turned the storylines and stuff about how immediately when they first introduce him, he doesn't trust Superman creating the Superman of America. And of course they die on his watch by sending them instead of Superman to fight Bizarro and everything. Bizarro kills two of them, all that kind of stuff. And then of course, ex kryptonite goes crazy, kills Bizarro and brings the pendant to Ali. So yeah. So I hate the breaks. I hope we don't get any more breaks. Probably, we probably will get more breaks, which I hope we don't because I don't want this show to take another break. Loving the hell out of the show. So Anyways, guys, let's get into now, guys. Let's check out this episode, episode eight, Into Oblivion. Let's see what they show us, guys. I'm ready. I, I, I'm not sure what to expect, but I'm just ready for anything. Let's go. What's happening? What? Are we seeing what happened after he left? Oh, she, oh, she was right behind him. So she was that close. And then he's gone. Oh, you're awake. Awesome. Two girls? Uh oh. Confusion is normal with his type of brain. This is not good though if he has these type of memory problems. I hope so. That's true, but I hope I hope so. This is bad. If you uh you know, if you need another opinion or something, I Damn, I'll need your opinion on my uh debate. Yes she does. I'm glad that he knows that right away. We have parents calling us. Oh. Not wanting you anywhere near their kids. Oh shit. Damn. Find out football's over. Who's drugs Speak up. Just admit it. She's not for you, man. Move on. God. Why are you doing this? Because I don't like stunt. Man. Just admit. Just admit. You killed him. Bizarro. Not Superman. Her? My other self. What? Oh, that was her other self. Okay. Oh, God. Oh, God. Okay. Oh, God. Yeah, you need to say something and get out. Are you sure? I mean, that's a good question. Are you sure you want to do this? Um, I don't know what that means, but okay. Jordan, I want Aubrey in my life, especially now with everything that's going on with my parents. Mm. Yeah, but it's, it's a little weird. It, it is, but... Which mm. is why we should all hang out. Those inhalers weren't free. Yeah, oh, boy. oh boy. Oh boy. Oh boy. General Hardcastle sends her sincerest apology. Okay, thank you. Yes. <laughs> He took it. He took the pendant, of course. Looks like she's at home. You track Lucy's phone? 
She's not. Is she really home? They're about to do something crazy, I think. What the hell? I see the reflection. Holy shit, it's just sitting there? That is fucking weird. Yeah. Yeah, you told her. What? And he left with the pendant. What? As long as it could save. All of this is so messed up. But your dad made the decision to go. Yeah. You look exactly like the guy who killed my mom. Nowhere. Nowhere. Oh. Okay. He is? Um, yeah, he is. A, she's a drug dealer. Sorry. He is. Every every question he's going to. Mm-hmm. Oh, I've been waiting for this for a while. I'm not interested in your games. I love that answer. Oh, my. Who cares? Stop it. Stop it. Okay, we'll just kill you then. Kidding. <laughs> Can't you just acknowledge the truth? But we don't know. I mean, we assume that she went through, but... Good answer. Good answer. Wait, okay. Okay. Well, she has to let it out, you know? It's a lot. Mm-hmm. Yeah. I mean, yeah. Yeah, he did. Yeah, literally. Mm -hmm. Oh boy. I would say he's, it's Lois, right? <laughs> this is gonna be really bad. Yep, yep, yep. Oh boy, something bad's gonna happen. Something bad's gonna happen. Vehicle, vehicle. Oh my god, it's pulling up so slow. <laughs> Ex kryptonite. Of course. I mean, it makes sense why he would take it. Oh boy. Oh, he's not going to go to the date, or the, not date, to get the hangout because of, yeah. <laughs> Took his keys. <laughs> Throws him. <laughs> oh, shit. He's hiding his face. Send him after you. <laughs> And awkward. Mm-hmm. A little. That's a little bit a lot. Oh. Oh, get their own place. I hope so. Oh. But wait. Did she go through and come back? You went in. So no one. Noticed. No one what? The oh. So how do you survive the trip then? What the fuck is going on? It feels too happy right now. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> it is harsh, but you know. Mmm. Oh shit. Fuck. To make sure Allie gets to the other side. Fuck. That's why she'd actually go. Damn it. I don't know where to begin with this. <laughs> this episode had so much going on. So much stuff. It was a fantastic episode once again. This show continues to deliver. I think we need to start with probably the biggest what the fuck moment in the whole episode, besides the ending there, of course, with Lucy, like, what the fuck, is the fact that 
some people, not all, got through the portal that Bizarro used to get to Earth Prime to go to the other world. And at first, when that first guy was like, ah, oh, and he's in the hazmat suit and he's floating and then he goes through, a, like, right as the portal, I guess, like, sends him through. At first, I'm like, did he just disintegrate? He didn't. And then you see clearly where they're being sucked through, like, some sort of invisible wall or something, a part of the portal. And there was a failsafe that was in place because what they were trying to explain was that Lucy may have been a part of the team that went through and she wasn't saved by Superman. So it was implied based off her text message to Sam, General Lane, her father and her sister Lois that she went through or she, it was implied that she's a part of the team. And her story was when she showed up that She's like, oh, I, I just kept thinking about it, and, and you know, we were all in these suits, so I, I, I escaped. Okay, sure, okay. <laughs> but she was the failsafe. She was the failsafe because I'm thinking something's up. Cause my my prediction, which was, I was wrong, was that she actually made it through the portal, and that they, of course, they didn't they didn't make her speak, and but she went through the portal, and then she's now back. For some reason, she's like, and she's morphed with her other self, which that was, you know, discussed in terms of Anderson and everything. We'll get to that in a second. But that was my prediction that she was now complete with her other self and she's now back to Earth Prime. No, she never went. She was in case Allie gets stopped in any sh you know shape or any capacity. There was a failsafe to make sure she gets through. Anderson. I was confused at first. I'm like, okay, so here's Anderson. It was the it, the other Anderson and the other Allie, and then it morphed to our Anderson. As like, what did she say? Well, you said to tell you come, like, yo, come over here. And right as they're about to start going, Anderson takes X Kryptonite. He takes the pendant and fly and flies through the portal. And I was thinking the ending of the episode was going to be people returning through the portal or something coming through the portal back. Maybe the people that went through or something to that effect. But no, it was the whole failsafe, but the whole Lucy thing tricking everybody and, po and not poisoning, but basically putting something in Sam's drink for him to pass out. Dick move. <laughs> so we'll see what happens with that. I mean, because they openly told her that Allie was arrested. So she like had to figure out a way to get the information to be told where Allie is. So that's frustrating. It was really a big thing. And Allie in this episode was so frustrating because I tweeted as a joke. But can we just take Allie out back and end this right now? Because this is so frustrating. I said I was kidding, but I could. But it's like Sam goes in there and we know he's specifically waiting to be told who went through the portal. Did Lucy go through the portal? Allie is so good at manipulation and so good at using her words as a way to hurt other people. So when he's asking for names of who went through the portal, who did Superman not save, she kept saying, oh, we know what name you're looking for. We know who you wanted to save. And then bringing up Anderson about how you also didn't save him. Like, you know, he looked up to you. You weren't there for him. It got to the point where he actually grabbed her and was like shaking her like, where, where is my daughter? In her, in her face, like, just so pure of joy in the fact that she, nothing's going to happen to her. She's like, I won't speak another word to my lawyer's present. Or attorney, whatever. Uh-huh. Okay. It's like, it's like, can we just take her out back now? <laughs> the, the season went in pretty quickly in terms of that. Um, but I don't know. Some people went through the portal. I think that, you know, I think they made it through as is. But, yeah, so... We had a, a good portion of the episode dedicated to Natalie and John Henry Irons, who is now awake, but he's having some memory issues, at least for that one sequence, because he, yeah, I, I want to spend time with my two favorite girls, and he's implying that Lois, who's standing there next to Clark, is his Lois from his Earth, like, no, he's like, oh, I know, I know that that's not our Lois, <laughs> it's like, do you? And I understand the whole point about Natalie being really upset and still, like, not fully trusting Clark Superman because the fact that it's the same exact guy who killed my mom. On live television, by the way, on my Earth. So, 
they're kind of building that up a little bit to where maybe she'll have she'll be able to spend more time with Clark because right now that hasn't been the case. But he said that if you if you and you know John want to go, you know your dad go see this place that hasn't been rented out in a while, and apparently they're taking the place, so they're getting their own place. So that's good. But we'll see if Natalie and Clark build some sort of relationship or some sort of thing to where they don't have to have this tension because it's more on it's it's on Natalie's side, but he understands why he understands why she's you know really guarded with him. So there's that. Um, we also had Jordan and Jonathan, a lot of stuff there. Jonathan was set down at the dinner table um, in the morning and saying, so tell us where the drugs came from. And then of course he won't speak about it. He asked, he's forced now have a job and Jordan overhears Jonathan's girlfriend. I can't remember her name, but uh, her being harassed by some guy who followed her into school and he wanted his money. Cause all those inhalers and stuff that wasn't cheap. He needs his money, I guess to pay back for all the stuff that was taken or whatever. Cause she didn't sell it. Um, so that ended up being to where Jonathan's walking his girlfriend home. The girl, he will not out even though he, <laughs> He's in so much trouble, and apparently Lois and Clark are getting so many calls where people are like, keep your son away from us, and they had to forfeit all the games, the football games, like the football season's over because they can't justify those wins anymore because of two football players have been confirmed taking ex kryptonite, so the wins cannot be justified as being legit. That's crazy stuff there, but like, so many things are just piling up on Jonathan and, and, and Jordan because that's his brother, so it's really crazy. So Jonathan is walking your girlfriend home and there's that guy that, and he has a Mustang. I think it's a Mustang. I think that's the kind of car. But um, Jordan has to show up with his hoodie up and he has to fight the guy because the guy takes X kryptonite. So there has to be a, a kind of fair fight. Jordan was going to win that fight, obviously, but pretty intense stuff there. And then Jordan does not go and hang out with Sarah and the girl. I forget her name. Um, they said her name, but I, it, it, didn't, it hasn't clicked um, to kind of get rid of the awkwardness because they want to be friends now, even though they had a thing at camp, but now they just want to be friends because her parents went through a divorce. So she can relate to Sarah in that aspect. And so she wanted them both her and the girl and Jordan to spend some time together to get rid of that awkwardness. But I'll, I don't know if you get rid of it that quick, but of course he didn't go, go back as when he shows back up, I think they're finishing up eating or whatever. And he has bloody knuckles and it's like, how can you explain where you've been? <laughs> so he just went home and played games. So understandable on that front. Um, but we'll see where that goes. I mean, that, that seems like there's going to be some uh, tension. And speaking of tension, uh, one last thing. We have Kyle and Lana. Um, so, or is it Lana? See, I always get those names mixed up. I swear. I always get the pronunciation of it. Lana Lang, Lana Lang. I think it's Lana. Anyways, she calls Kyle because whoever was helping her canceled on her speech and stuff about, you know, debate. And so he was giving her debate questions that the mayor will ask because he's going to always refer it back to the broken marriage and everything that has occurred. It's awkward, 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 awkward. And I, look, I think it's, I don't know if it's implying so much as, cause I was expecting this whole thing to imply they're going to start getting back together. No, they're kind of, it's, it's feeling more and more like she is not going to forgive him. I don't think she's going to, I feel like she's going to move on and she's going to, find someone else or I don't know, maybe they're, I don't know. It's kind of hard to judge. Cause obviously like all this stuff went down just recently in the, in the, in the season two. So I don't know, but yeah, this, this season was season. This episode was really intense and I love how they handled everything, how they balanced everything. And I cannot wait to see what's next because this show is just so good. And I wasn't saying that. I mean, I knew there was some sort of twist coming from Lucy, but I wasn't expecting that particular one with the fell safe. So, Everything's up in the air at this point. Everything is up in the air at this point. Anyways, that's the reaction. That's the video. What did you guys think of the episode? I'm curious to know your thoughts, guys. Whatever thoughts you have, guys, let me know in the comments below. I will talk to you guys soon. Peace out.